Sarita, this video hopefully will answer a few questions and allow you to get started. Um, this map, uh, we're looking at an admin view. If I switch over to the player, uh, you'll see everything's locked. Uh, but these quests are locked until the day that they're available. So these are daily quests. They're locked until 7 a.m. on each of those days. Uh, the mission log is going to open up on Tuesday when kids show up. So right now, there's no content in these because I'm setting all this up. Uh, the second column, all, you know, classroom management stuff, getting the kids acclimated to what we're doing. And then the next three columns are just getting them up and running with foundation in um, it, what they're working on and what they're working with. Uh, so we all have this on even footing. Typically, um, I have uh, these working as pods everywhere. But this year, I wanted to experiment with a little bit more of control. So I'm using chains in order to, um, to, to control the pace that they're learning things, the, the order, not the pace, because uh, kids work at their own pace. Uh, when they complete Tuesday's mission, they get this item, welcome, which unlocks this mission, which unlocks the ones below it. And because these next three are locked by the previous column, they have to finish this in order to get to here and then down the line. Down here, a uh, second uh, key will be awarded that will unlock um, some of these. Uh, oh, you can't see them there. Some of those other maps. I don't know. I've recorded this a few times, so I don't know if I showed you this. Uh, there's other maps that I'm going to be opening up to kids, and those will be 95% pods where I want them to have a lot of choice and explore and meet some of the expectations. The final piece here, which is allowing me to remove um, a bunch of content that I normally put in quests, is I've created what I'm calling a living syllabus. It contains the questions that most parents ask because this classroom operates differently. And then it will also contain the weekly updates um, that I'll record and send out to families the beginning of each week this year. And the bullet point archive has to do with these dailies. I'm going to um, create links because I'm going to have two videos here that are going to cover uh, the first half of this. And then these last two are going to be in a second vid. I'm actually going to link to the videos so that on this separate page out here at the bullet point archive, they can see what I've asked their kids to do and the bullet points will be here. But the links won't be to the week one quest. They'll be to this specific video where those instructions are. And they can always go back to week one uh, back on the mission maps if they want to see these things in context. Because at the end of every week, I'm going to archive these missions down here in this archive. And I'm going to handle these in chunks, four or five week chunks, where, um, you know, in week five, the first four weeks will be archived here and week five will be sitting here. So I don't know if that answers your questions. You had a lot of questions and some of them, uh, I make up things as I go along, depending upon the level of kids in the classroom and how things are going. So uh, by the end of the year, I'll have hundreds and hundreds of missions and more stuff than any kid can complete. But Lots of opportunities for them to, number one, meet all the course objectives and, if they want, earn the college credit if they do the work. And number two, provide opportunities for them to pursue their passions, you know, to create a personal learning environment. And that's also covered here. Uh, what if my student wants to learn, you know, something different? Um, so uh, these first two I'm going to kind of stress in the daily. This is where I kind of lay down. This is the big question, and this is the second big question. And then the rest of this um, is going to play a part, both in acclimating the kids and the families to the very different way that school works 
in the Mac Lab. Again, I hope that makes some sense. And uh, if you need one-on-one -on -one help after this, let me know. I'm happy to make another video or meet you on Zoom. Good luck. Can't wait to see what you build. And yeah, 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 you can clone all this stuff. You can clone this whole page and everything's locked. But once you clone it, it's on your site and then you can edit. Like I said, there's no content here, but you can edit this, change titles, move things around. You know, these things just slide around. You know, they you can move them wherever you want. So um, all this, in, you know, these slide around too. So uh, all of this is... Um, really flexible, and you've got the asynchronous training here that it looks like, oh my gosh, how could I ever get through all this? These videos are a minute long. You know, this one's longer. Um, you could skip this simply because you know what we're doing. Uh, but these are just straightforward until this last column. It starts to get a little longer here, uh, but this last column digs into strategies and techniques, and they're not so straightforward, so they take a little longer. Uh, but you have all kinds of, of resources here that I hope are helpful. And if not, let me know.